Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. This is episode number 14. This actually is episode number 14, unlike last time when I said that. Tom for us. One of the times. This really is 14. Anyways, I'm back, obviously, as you can see me. Uh, me and Jesse are finally feeling better. We had um, a viral infection and it was hand, foot, mouth disease. We got it from my nephew who had it. And it was horrible. I don't know if any of you guys have ever experienced it, but it's a horrible, horrible sickness that lasts about a week and it's painful for me. I don't think it hurts kids, but I ended up getting it and it wasn't fun. It was a really bad week and I'm glad it's over. <laughs> Anyways, we're better now. Jesse's in the living room playing and I'm sitting here doing this. <laughs> but um, I didn't get a lot of crocheting done while I was sick, obviously, and plus my hands were hurting because I had the breakout on my hands. But it's pretty much gone now. There's like a few little bits of it left. But uh, I did get to crochet a few things. And I will go ahead and show my mittens too from the picture last week. But I did finish my mittens before we got sick. Or before I got sick. Jesse was sick a few days before I was and then I got it. Okay, here's my mittens. I love these mittens. They are a little different though. I'm sure you can see a little bit where they're different. Did I say welcome? Welcome everybody. I forgot. I'm just random that way. Alright, this is the Fingerless Glove Mittens by CrochetKnitting.com. It's a free pattern and I tweaked it a little bit because the original pattern has like, in, you know, little finger holes. <laughs> Fingerless glove finger holes and I didn't want those. I just wanted mittens that folded back. I like them. This one is a little bit smaller than this one as you can see but it's not enough to actually affect it in any way I think they're gonna be totally functional I'm still a little worried about the gap right there but I don't know really what to do about it I don't know I like them and I can't wait to use them when it's cold they match my scarf they're cute uh, that'll be linked below that I finished I think two weeks ago I can't remember when uh, the other thing I finished was my shawl. I decided not to make the whole cake worth. Because I was originally going to use the whole cake. Right here's what's left of it. It's a line brand mandala. The mittens are made out of uh, red heart neon stripes. Anyways, I was going to go ahead and try to make this whole shawl out of that one cake, but if I had continued using that cake, the shawl would have been huge. And right here, as it is right now, it's already a few rows bigger than the pattern calls. The pattern has like 89 rows, I think it was, and this has like 95. And I didn't want it ginormous, because, I don't know, I just, I liked it the size it was, and I was kind of tired of working on it. But I think it's really pretty. I have tried it on, and tried to figure out how to wear it the right way. I'm not really good at wearing stuff like that, but it's finished for the crochet along that I was doing it for. And the pattern is free pattern and it's called the Naturally Southern Scarf by Kathy Lashley. And um, I already said it was Lime Brown Mandala. The colorway is Genie. It's really simple. It's just a two row repeat over and over and over and you just increase at the end of every round. Uh, at one end on every round to make it this swoopy shape. <laughs> but I was doing that for the crochet along hosted by Hannah at the Cozy Cottage Crochet and I'll link the group below for that if you're interested. It's still going on until Halloween so you still have time to enter something if you wanted to. That took me forever and I think it's just because I wasn't really into the pattern to begin with because I wasn't really interested in making a shawl at all because I'm a scarf person. But I went ahead and started it, and then I was obligated to finish it, and then I was doing it for the crochet along. So I basically just, that's when I decided to just hurry up and finish it and just leave it the size it is. Because honestly, I don't even know if I'm going to end up wearing it. It'll probably go into the box of random things I've made to try to sell or give away or whatever. Okay. The only other thing I finished, this was, I finished this before we got sick. And I showed it a picture of it. But it's another drawstring bag. This is just like my cat one, only bigger. This is made with two fat quarters, one 
one pattern and one on the inside. This is made with four. I put two together for the outside and then two together for the inside. The inside is just black. And the outside is just another Halloween fat quarter from Walmart. Oh my god, there's hair everywhere. <laughs> um, I'm not sure what the brand is because they were just like rolled up in for sale at Walmart for like 97 cents. And I got a bunch of Halloween ones. And I just thought it was cute. And I'll use both of these all year round. That's like if I had a Christmas bag, I would use it whenever. Especially Christmas bags. I love Christmas. Anyways, I really like this drawstring pattern. And I like the drawstring because I don't have to worry about getting my yarn stuck in a zipper. So I wanted to make it bigger so I could put bigger projects in it. And I succeeded. It took a little while and I messed up the sizing of uh, this thing. The cover for the drawstring. It's a little short. I think I did really good on it, and it's also, it's boxed, I think, boxed bottom. I, I don't know my terms. Now, the, my next project that I want to do bag-wise is I want to interface to make them stiffer. And uh, I've been looking online and in stores, and I think the cheapest place to buy interfacing is online. Amazon has it for pretty cheap. It's like $32 for 40 yards, a 40-yard bolt of it, whereas at all the ones I looked at at Hobby Lobby were like seven ninety nine a yard, and that's a lot of money for the same thing you get online for, and the same brand and everything. I don't know why it's so different, but I'll link it. To get it. Are you okay? Uh oh, I gotta go see what happened. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> I got apple pill in my mouth. I gave him a slice of apple, and I ate the pill off of it so that he wouldn't choke on it. Anyways, bag. I'll link the pattern below for it. It's a YouTube tutorial. And it's um it's fairly simple. I mean I'm a beginner sewer and I made two of them successfully. I didn't have a few boo-boos, but they're functional. Are you eating your apple? Is it good? Chew it up good. I love apples. We both love apples. Alright, that's all my finished objects, I think. Yeah. Whips. Alright, I'll start with the grease one. <laughs> all of it stuff will be linked below. I'm doing it as part of a corner to corner Grace the movie musical themed crochet along. I'm extremely behind. She released the last panel this Monday and I'm still on the fifth one. There's 13. And I barely touched this before I was sick. I didn't touch it all while I was sick. And then I think yesterday day before I did like two rows. And I'm just kind of over it right now. I think I'm going to let this hibernate for a week or two until I get the oomph, the oomph back for it. I don't know. I, I think it's just because I'm really sick of the colors and I'm just, I want to work on something else. And I'm not going to force myself to work on it just to get it done for the videos or just to finish it because, I mean, it's going to take me forever to finish it anyway, so it might as well take me a little bit longer. I'm not concerned. But... I have all of greased and then the L and most of the I. I've been slacking on tying my ends as usual. I need to catch that up. I may actually do that before I even pick it up to crochet anymore. I don't know when I will get around to finishing this, but I'm not going to pressure myself to work on it a lot. Because it's, it's not fun if you do that, you know. I want it to be fun. It's in my snappy bag still. Hopefully this will house a lot of my grease squares uh, until I get to some of the bigger panels because some of them are still small. But anyways, I have no idea when that square will get done. I've been working on that one square I think for four or five weeks. Technically less than that because I got sick and couldn't work on anything. But eh, I'm not concerned about it. I didn't get my hook back. I don't know if I mentioned that I had to send it off to get repaired because it was the glaze came off and the letters were peeling off because their letters are like stickers that are glazed over. But she repaired it and sent it back and it's as good as new. So that's good. I can start using it again instead of my frog hook. Alright. I'm getting really tired of talking about that crochet along. I feel like it's redundant. My next whip. Oh, I left it over there. Maybe I can reach it. Is my Santa Claus Amigurumi. It's a paid for pattern. Oh, the grease, the greased one is a paid for pattern too. And I'm using mostly Red Heart and Walmart brand mainstays yarn with it. Okay, this is my Santa. So far he's just arms. And they're not even stuffed. They will be stuffed eventually. Um, 
This is Paid for Pattern by Mary Smith, which if you've watched my videos, you know that I love her patterns, and I, I do pretty much, I almost always have a Mary Smith pattern on the hook. I actually have two of them going right now, Santa being one of them. But, um, he's going to be like an 18-inch doll, Santa doll, and I also have Mrs. Claus that I'm going to also make. And she's also got a snowman, a Jack Frost, a Nutcracker, and a gingerbread man that are the same size. I might eventually make those. Not necessarily this Christmas, but you know, eventually I'd like to have all of them. She got a ton of Halloween ones too, and then just some random ones. She, I love her. She's just a really good designer for large amigurumis. Um, and I haven't worked on it at all since being since before I got sick. I think I might have finished this one arm after. I think I finished them both before I got sick, though. Before me and Jesse both got sick. I'm excited about the Santa, though, because I love anything Christmas. What's my next? Okay, my next work in progress that I'm actually working on is another Mary Smith pattern. This is for her crochet along that's going on right now on her Facebook group, which I'll put link below. It's in my cat bag right now because it fits in there right now. Um, oh, Santa's going to be made out of Red Heart Super Saver. Too, because I have a ton of it. The current crochet along that she's hosting on her Facebook group is another Halloween themed one. I just did the frog on a pumpkin and now this is bat in a pumpkin. I got the pumpkin finished and he looks horrible. I messed up his eyes and I don't know he just looks I just I'm not happy with him at all. And he's made with that horrible orange yarn I'm trying to use up because it's so rough. I'm almost done. I probably got like one more amigurumi worth of this orange and then it'll be gone. I'm just not happy with his face. I messed it up and it looks just wonky. <laughs> but it's done. I also got the back body done. His head and body. He's purple. The, you know, the pattern's black, but I wanted to make it purple because I like purple. The purple is a yarn that was discontinued. It's a red heart yarn. It's called Accent, right? Yeah. And I have no idea how to pronounce the color. It's an H word. I have no idea how to say that. <laughs> and it was at Walmart for a dollar, and I got two of them when they were there. It was the only two that they had, and I grabbed them. They're little. when Before they get all stretched out from using, they're like that long. And they're just, I think they that line was made just to, to be accent color, since the name. And I guess it didn't do too good, because they don't carry it anymore. But I love this color purple. Now, don't show his bodies. I also have his little wings done. I finished his wings yesterday. I don't remember how they go. <laughs> when they go to his, when I put them on his body, it'll be. I don't know how they're sewn on there. I messed one of them up. I think I need to redo one because they need to be this way. I don't know. This way, maybe? Yeah, like that. Something like that. <laughs> He'll have eyes that are crocheted. Uh, some people doing the crochet along though are doing um, safety eyes. But I'm going to do the big crocheted ones because they're like big and bulgy and it's just cute. He'll have ears. And I think he has a nose and little feet. So he's, he's over halfway done, I think. With the pumpkin included, it's halfway done. Um... This crochet along ends on Halloween too, I think. Or the week of Halloween. But he's stuffed in there. I really love her patterns. He's paid for pattern, but he's also he's 30% off right now. Every time she has a crochet along, that particular pattern is 30% off. Plus she's almost always got some kind of coupon code floating around. That's the only whips that I actually have started. I do have um, some acquisitions that I got that is going to be for three more whips that I need to get started soon. One will actually be sometime today. I'll be starting it probably after I finish filming. So I will show my... Well, one of the, the future whips, like in the next few days, is a little Dobby keychain that my sister seen and wants. So I already got the yarn pulled out for it and everything. I just have to get it started. And it's little. It's supposed to be made with sport weight yarn, but I don't have any. So I'm just going to use worsted weight and a bigger hook so it will be bigger than the pattern says, but it's still going to be like a small little amigurumi size Dobby, the house elf from Harry Potter. I just got a message. Um, sorry. Uh, let's see here. That's the next whip. My sister has a baby shower she's got to go to, and it's a little girl. 
and she wants me to make a little sweater. It's due to the beginning of December, so she wants me to make a little newborn sweater and a hat. So I found a bunch of patterns, and we talked about it, and um, you know, I sent her back and forth a bunch of patterns, and she picked out one. And then we went to Hobby Lobby today, and she picked out this yarn. It's the same yarn, it's just the labels are different. I guess it's two different lots, but I don't think it matters. They look the same. But it's, um, it's Yarn Bee, Baby Bee, Sweet Delight, Pomp. <laughs> I don't know what that means. But it's called, it's just pink, I guess. Peekaboo. <laughs> That's so cute. It's pinkaboo, like peekaboo, but pink. And it's, it's baby pink, but it's also got like this ribbon of yarn through it. It's really pretty yarn. It's a size 3. It's soft. I like it. I've had a few yarn bees, and they're all... Is that right? Yarn bee? Yeah. Yarn bee, and they're all nice yarn. She also picked out, it needs four buttons, and she picked out these little sparkly heart buttons. They'll be functional, I think, but, you know, obviously it's a newborn, so I don't think she'll pull them off and stick them in her mouth. And by the time she outgrows this sweater, it uh, won't matter that it has buttons on it. Uh, that's for, that pattern is going to, it's a free pattern that I found, and it's called Shells and Vines Sweater by Jenny Blankenship. I'll link it below, too. I just haven't started it yet, but I'll probably be starting it. Okay. Chuck that over there. All right. Other acquisition is this color. More hair. <laughs> it's a uh, Red Heart Super Saver called Cafe Latte. All right? Yeah. This is for Devin's Halloween costume. This is for his hat that I have to make for it, which I need to get started because Halloween is in like what two and a half weeks. I need to get that started. But that's all I need to make for our Halloween costumes is that hat and then a. I need yarn for another part of a costume, but it's nothing that needs to be crocheted. My only other acquisitions... Nope, there's more. I forgot. One, I found these at Hobby Lobby on clearance. They're marked $3.99, but one was $1.20 and one was $1.99. And they're meant to be used in planners to decorate your planner with, I guess, to hang off the spiral part. But... To me, they look like stitch markers. They're already prepared. They already have lobster claws, and they're just cute. They're, this one's butterflies, umbrellas, and roses. And this one says hello, this little diamondy thing, and little envelopes. And for just a dollar-ish, well, like four dollars for both of them, it was, they're just cute stitch markers that are already pre-made, so easy peasy. <laughs> And the last acquisition I got today, I already opened it, so I don't have the box. And a few of y'all have it. I know um, Gerard at Hand Me Downs has it, and Heather at Painted Yarn, Painted World, Painted World Crochet. I can't remember the name of it. Has it, but it's the little. Ah, there it is. <laughs> it's the little crochet kit of Star Wars Amigurumis. And I found it at, we have a store here, it's kind of like a closeout store called Ollie's. Sticky eyes are sticky. And um, it was there, and like at Books a Million, this is like $17, but at Ollie's it was $7. It's $6.99. And it's got all, it's got 12 different patterns of Star Wars characters in it. And it came with these cute little hanks of yarn. Are these not cute? This this is the yarn to make a stormtrooper and Yoda. And it also came with a hook. 3.5, so it's like an elf, I think. And safety eyes that are sticky. <laughs> but yeah, I got that because I love Star Wars and it was super cheap and I don't know, I'll make them eventually. <laughs> Heather at Painted Painted World. I can't remember, it's Painted World something. She's a new channel that I've recently discovered. Uh, I'll link her below if I can remember. Uh, she's been making some of them. She made, I know she made Princess Leia, but I can't remember if she made anybody else. But yeah, I'm pretty excited about that. I love Star Wars, so it'll be fun to get that going. I think that's everything I need to talk about. I think so. I was planning on doing a lot of shout outs in this video, but as I was putting them on a list, I realized there's a ton of them, so I'm actually going to make a whole video just for. Um, channels I don't watch because there's a lot of them apparently because I didn't realize I watched that many but I do uh, I guess that's everything life update everything's getting back to normal from being sick I'm finally getting the house back to the way it should be um, 
we're recovered pretty much all the way. Now everybody we know just about getting strip throat, so I'm hoping that that stays away from us. But yeah, I'm gonna hop off here because I gotta edit this and I gotta to clean up and I need to start that little baby sweater and answer my mom because she messaged me. <laughs> but I will see you guys next week, hopefully, if nothing happens, next Friday. Um, I guess that's everything. <laughs> Bye.